Hello and welcome everyone, wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So say hello, tell us where you're tuning in from, if you are watching this live. If you are watching this on a replay, just put hashtag replay. Today, I wanted to talk to you about a gift that we already have. Now, this gift that we ever need, we already have. And, and as we become aware of it, we begin to see opportunities. Now, and then we started to, to have the belief in our ability to, to go out and achieve what it is that we desire to do. Now, this gift is a, a spiritual gift and it is called potential. It is our potential. Now, potential is a spiritual gift. Now, when we talk about potential, it is something that we see in other people. We don't have to go you know, long in our days to see people that are not living up to their potential. When we see people in our families and we look at their lives and we think that you know, they have the potential to do better than that. Now, some people think that a particular person with advanced education will lead to good potential you know, for their business or maybe for their personal lives. But the truth is, none of these things are potential. None of them are potential. So what all these things provide is opportunity. Potential is a spiritual gift. Now, all the potential that we ever need, we already have. And as we become aware of this potential, we then begin to, um, to see the opportunity that's in front of us. And then we start to believe and to have the belief in our ability to go out and, and achieve whatever it is that we want. Most people don't know how much potential they have. But did you know that we have infinite potential? When we begin to study ourselves and examine what, you know, what it is that makes us who we are, there are only two references, two point of references to go to. And that first is science, and second is theology. Now, when we begin to study religion, we think of theology and the concept of religion. But really, what we're talking about here is spiritual awareness. Now, if we ask a theologian, what is this great power that operates and, and permeates the, the cosmos and that we have the ability to tap into and get whatever it is that we want in our lives, they will define it as a spirit or God. And they will say that spirit is 100% evenly present at all times. And it is a cause and effect in itself. It cannot be created nor destroyed. And if we go over to a scientist and ask the same question, what is this creative power that permeates and penetrates the cosmos and that we have the ability to tap into and get whatever it is that we want in our lives? And they will define this as energy. And they will say that energy is 100% evenly present in all places at all times and cannot be created nor destroyed. So whatever the scientist or theologians define, defines it, it's either way, either way, regardless of the name that we identify, you know, that there is what it is, really that this is only, there's really it's a power that's working with and through us. So for me, this power is spirit. It's, I define it as spirit and that we are a spiritual being, that we have an intellect and we live in a, in a physical body. There is so much more to yourself than meets the eye. We all have infinite potential. We put the limit on ourselves. We put limits on ourselves based on our own, our, based on our own programming. We are capable of achieving anything we want. You see that the power that's within, within us operates by law in a precise manner. It is this power that does the work. So everything that comes to us, it comes from one source. And that source power always, always flows and works to and through, through us. So the image that you have formed can only come to you on the physical plane as, as results in one way. And that way is by law and through faith. 
faith has, has always been the, the miracle worker throughout history, always has been. You know, it's that connecting link between source or, or God and, and us. So whatever it is that you accomplished in your lifetime would have been in direct proportion to the intensity and the persistence of your faith. So see yourself as this spiritual instrument without limitations. And when you do, you'll find it very easy to tap into your potential and then expect you know, the good that you desire. You have unlimited potential. It is a gift that's given to us and we already have it. So we just need to tap into it. So I hope you enjoy this video. Book a free call if you want to explore more about your potential and if you want to fast track your goals. So keep it simple and be deliberate. Bye for now.